Hi, welcome to Dasharoo. If you're not familiar with what we do, we're your one-stop business dashboard with stats from all your favorite apps. From your Salesforce CRM, to marketing, to social media, to web analytics, it's all here in one easy to view dashboard. So let's get started. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up Dasharoo for your Salesforce CRM. I'll walk you through the steps to install and configure Dasharoo within your Salesforce org and on your Salesforce One mobile device. If you don't already have a Dasharoo account, you want to set that up first. So go to dasharoo.com and create your account. Once you've completed that step, you can now access Dasharoo from within Salesforce. You can find the Dasharoo Salesforce app on the App Exchange. Just do a quick search for Dasharoo. And there it is. Click Get It Now. And I'm going to install it right into production. Confirm and install. Next, you'll set your visibility and access. I want to install it for all my users. Yes, I grant access to Dasharoo. Great, installation complete. Next step is to customize your tabs so you can include Dasharoo. So click on this little plus icon here in your menu bar. Now click the Customize Tabs. Let's find Dasharoo in the list of available tabs and move it to our selected tabs. I like to have it up front here. Save that. There we have it, Dasharoo tab. Let's click on that. Now you can begin the authentication process. So just click st Get Started. Sign into your Dasharoo account, which you previously set up. And there you have it. Your Dasharoo dashboards embedded right into your Salesforce account. From here, you can change organizations if you have multiple within Dasharoo and switch between different dashboards within your Dashroo account right from this page. All right, next up, let's set up your mobile device. To do that, head on over to your setup and scroll down to mobile administration. First, we want to look at our Salesforce One navigation and add Dashroo to our Salesforce One mobile app. And save. Now let's switch over to our mobile device and take a look. Here you can see I have the Salesforce One mobile app installed. Let's open that up. Let's open the little uh, menu. And there you have it. There's Dasharoo. Let's click on Dasharoo. And here's the same dashboard that we just saw in the Dasharoo tab within your Salesforce account. If you want to customize your Salesforce One application, you can use the Lightning App Builder to also add Dasharoo dashboards to your custom app. Let's walk through how to do that. So back in your setup, you want to scroll down to the Lightning App Builder. Next, we want to add a new page to our Lightning app. We'll go with the single column for this, and we'll call it Dasharoo Demo. Now you can start customizing your Lightning app. One thing to note, in order for custom components to be available, the My Domain setting within your Salesforce org must be enabled and deployed. So to build your custom Lightning app, just drag the components from the left hand side, being the standard Salesforce or our custom Dasharoo app, to your application builder. So I'm going to add a few components here. 
recent items, maybe some rich text. And the dasheru component as well. All right, let me save that and activate it. Let's activate. So now I'll take a stroll back to my phone and let's give it a little refresh here. And there is our new custom app, Dasheru Demo. You can see if I had any recent items in my Salesforce account, they would show up there. The rich text has been pulled in and our Dasheru dashboard. So that's it. Three different ways to view Dasheru within your Salesforce account. Well, I hope this was helpful. If you need any further assistance, please contact support at dasheru.com or visit our help site at help.dasheru.com. Cheers.